So that when we talk about opposition, running an African country is not very easy. If you go to Angola, it is the Ovambo and the Ovimbundu. If you go to South Africa, it's the same thing. You've got to make, make sure that Zuma is the president because you've got to settle the spirits of the Zulu. If you go to Nigeria right now, the Igbo think they are excluded. And if you want, if General Buhari is unwell, the talk is already there. Will Osinbajo take over or will it be a northern, a rather premature if you ask me? So what is opposition? If I was a president of a country, this is what I would do. Recognizing that African countries are fragile, I would have monthly meetings with all opposition leaders. Monthly. Because some of these opposition leaders, the truth be told, what they want is to be heard. They want to have an opportunity to contribute to the entire, to the entire national enterprise. And they have good ideas, some of them. But in, in many ways, they have good ideas. And I think that there is a sense, if you look at an article that has been written by Mwalimu Nyerere a while ago, he says, if you read more, you become more enlightened. There is a sense in which that is what African leaders forget to do. Mandela tried to do it when he was the president. One day, when he went out, he appointed Gacha Butelezi to be the president. And Gacha, I think, was very satisfied during those few days. So one of the things that we must realize, opposition and government, is that we are working and moving in the same direction. So my prescription, whether it's taken or not, is another debate. Ensure that these individuals are involved. Have quarterly meetings with all of them. Tell them, this is how we tell us how to run government. In fact, in many African countries, what I would do is to ask the opposition leader, I'm putting together my government. Do you have any problem with being appointed into my cabinet to serve so that these beautiful ideas, we mix mine with yours and we govern Tanzania? That would be my approach. And I think in that way, the opposition then becomes responsible. It becomes the loyal, responsible opposition. Otherwise, the opposition then exists to oppose everything and to propose nothing. And you can kill that by involving...